Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about this bone age x-ray. So you will hear this term a lot. Bone age x-ray is x-ray of your left hand. The reason we do the left hand is because we don't have normative right hands to compare. So your primary care physician will order an x-ray or we endocrinologists will order a bone age x-ray. And typically in our practice, we ask you to bring the x-ray or the CD which has the picture for us to review. So what does the bone age x-ray look like? So it's a typical hand x-ray where we look at the maturity of the bones. Say for example, your child is six years. If a child is growing normally, you expect the bones to be six years old as well. So all the growth plates in the bone x-ray will look very similar. And then when the child finishes growth, after puberty is reached, all the bones fuse, the growth plates are all closed and your child doesn't grow anymore. So the bone age x-ray helps us to identify how much growth is left and we can project a height based on the bone age x-ray. Now, in a child who is normally growing or if a child who is born in a small family, the chronological age or the age of your child is equal to the bone age. However, if your child is a late bloomer or constitutional growth delay child, your bones will be younger than your real age of the child. So for example, if the child is eight years old, the bone age can come back at six. That means your child has two extra years to grow, which benefits the child to proceed on with growth much after his or her classmates have finished growing. But there's a little twist to this. The delayed bone age can also be present in other diseases like thyroid disease, if the child has a chronic illness of some other sort or for example growth hormone deficiency. So it is very important if a child's bone age is delayed we have to do further investigations to find out what could be the cause of delay even though in majority of the situations it is uh, the late blooming or constitutional growth delay will be the reason behind the delayed bone age. The next video we'll be talking about all the labs we endocrinologists order in order to uh, look at a child whom we are evaluating for growth. Thank you very much.